Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign, Capri, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they're going to speak to you. With that said, remember they are general readings. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody and that is just fine. You should always use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So this week for your key to the week you have the wheel of fortune. The winds of change are blowing wild and free in your direction my dear Capricorn so this is a change point. Whenever this card shows up I always say to people let the detours of life take you to where you're supposed to be because this usually means you end up in the right place at the right time or somewhere that's even better than the destination that you had planned for yourself this week do expect delays do expect detours but they are supposed to be enjoyed this is also a week where <clears throat> a stroke of luck is likely to find you. I really like this. I mean, I love the Wheel of Fortune anyway, because it's just kind of one of those really lucky cards. When it shows up, there are blessings. Um, I was going to say there are blessings appropriate, um, but there are blessings available. So I love this for you. Be open to them. Be open to whatever detours and delays may show up for you so that you can end up where you're supposed to be. Uh, what I like to say with this card is the universe is rerouting your cosmic sat nav for uh, if you are a continued subby you know Rafi loves you if you're new to my channel please don't forget to like share and if you should so choose and it resonates hit the subscribe button for your actions and options you have the nine of wands so this is a week to admit some of your vulnerabilities my dear Capricorns I know I know I know <laughs> I hear a few sharp intakes of breath there like uh is this bitch for real uh all jokes aside I actually really like this because you've got the nine of wands in the actions and options, which suggests that you are ready, willing and able to admit your vulnerabilities this week. And by doing so, it humanizes you. And I actually think this is gonna see, this is gonna help people see you in a much better or much higher esteem than they already do. The other thing with that nine of wands, this is time, it's a, this is a moment where you are getting to speak. This is a moment where you are being heard. It's like you have the ear of the room, the universe, the boss, the significant other, whatever it may be. This is a moment for you to speak your mind on something. And when you do, I mean, you're not one to hold back anyway, but when you do this week, your words have a lot more weight. So you don't need to shout. You don't need to stress your point so heavily because whatever it is that you are trying to share or wanting to divulge, the information is there. It's going to be so much easier to come out of you and more importantly, it's received really well. For your communications and conversations, you have the Ace of Swords. This with the Wheel of Fortune, that is a, so for some of you, this is a job offer. For So specifically for those of you that are in academia, this is a job offer. This could be where uh, a boss or a superior comes to you and says, look, uh, you've been here for X amount of time. We've got this position coming up that we actually think you might be really good for. Um, for some of you, this could be that you're being headhunted. For others, you could end up seeing a job in a really random place or a really roundabout way. Maybe you overhear a conversation and you think, you know what, I might like that. You know what, I'm going to go for it. This suggests that there are new opportunities when it comes to work. There are new contracts, there's new jobs available to you if you want them. For those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, that's really nice because it suggests that the work that you are doing is picked up by a bigger sort of source. So I know this happens. I know it's rare these days, but I know that this happens, you know, sometimes where somebody is working on something and it's such a brilliant idea that it gets picked up or um, highlighted or in some way. So the work that you're doing may be picked up by a superior or an outside party that sees it and wants to blow it up in some way. I love this for potentially going viral for uh, an idea or a big idea of some kind or something that you, you know, for you is just natural or normal practice, but it gets this chance to really um, expand or to be bigger than it is in some way, shape or form. So I really, really like this. I think it could be wonderful for those of you that are retired. Um, 
So for some of you, this could be literally be like a new job. For some of you, this could be a new contract of some kind that comes into your world. For some of you, this could be forging a partnership of some kind, and it could be an offer um, that comes in that may be based around something that you're being asked to do or potentially commit to in the future. So I actually really like this. That Ace of Swords coupled with the Wheel of Fortune is a brilliant and it's a beautiful energy um, because it's a fresh start or a new beginning or potentially a contract of some sort that really um it solidifies your future in some way and you know capricorns love that kind of energy anyway now for those of you that are retired and no longer working i actually think this could be for some of you that you're going back to school in some way this could be brushing up on old skills for some of you this could be learning a new skill that you feel like you're maybe slightly behind on in some way so for those of you that are a little t technophobic um, this could be a week where you say to yourself actually you know what i'm gonna brush up on those skills or i'm gonna start a course of some kind um, that could really help me advance what it is that i'm trying to do in my life uh, you know and it doesn't have to be about work this could literally just be you know what the world is changing and i want to be ahead of that i want to be ahead of that change for your love and relations you got the two of cups this is beautiful admitting your vulnerabilities right so for those of you that are partnered married or in long-term commitments admitting your vulnerabilities has a really positive beneficial effect on not only the relationship but the quality of communication that you're able to have with your partner this week so this is a moment where you're saying to the significant other you know what yes i'm being erratic maybe i am angry or scared or whatever but you know what these are the reasons why it's like you're reaching a new or a deeper level of commitment but you're reaching that deeper level of commitment by um, opening up about how you really feel about something on a much deeper level of self so i really like this you know sometimes we have to bear our souls in order for that soul to be taken care of uh, and i think this is one of those weeks um, when it comes to those of you that are single, there is definitely potential here. A lot of Capricorns tend to meet people at work, um, which kind of makes sense, right? Because you guys are very focused on work. You love your work. And so to be with somebody who is very into that kind of, you know, into whatever it is that you do for work, you know you at least have something important in common. Uh, that being said, I actually feel that this isn't necessarily going to be somebody that you work with. It may be someone that you work with that introduces you to somebody or says, you know what, I've got somebody in mind for you. I don't know if you'd be interested, but this person is also single. If you are available, it would be nice to set you up on a date. Now, what's really interesting is because you've got this nine of wands, it's like you're not doing the usual. Yep, yeah, Capricorn, got it all together, all figured out. You're going in with this kind of, you know what, what you see is what you get all the great all the great stuff and all of the challenges that come with it as well for your money and materials you've got the nine of swords okay so not the easiest of energies uh, especially because you've got the ace of swords in the communications which means um it doesn't mean that it's bad but what i will say to you is this if there are if there is new work new jobs new opportunities that come in if they aren't financially viable, negotiate. If you're not able to negotiate, um, lock in a specific date for review. So if you're taking a new job and it's like a new title, it's new responsibility, but the money isn't quite what you want it to be, this would be a week where you could say to your boss, okay, you know what, I'm happy to take this position at this salary, but on this day, three months from now, I want to be able to review the salary because I'm a Capricorn, I'm a badass bitch, and I'm going to impress you, so you're going to need to up my wage. Um, obviously, don't say it like that, <laughs> but you get my point. Like, this is, you, you've got to put something in place to protect yourself at a later date, because otherwise the resentment's going to set in. When it comes to those of you, uh, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, the Nine of Swords is your upper extremities. So you've got two nines here. Two nines represents receipt. If it ain't on paper, right, going back to what I said about this finance and money thing, if it ain't on paper, if you don't have salary review in three months time to discuss upping wage, if you ain't got it in paper, it don't happen. It ain't, you know, it's not real. This is, you've got to make sure, receipt, 
get them receipts, okay? When it comes to, uh, also, when it comes to your money and any form of purchase that you're making this week, be sure to keep your receipt, especially if it's a large purchase or a travel-based purchase. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, your upper extremities, your arms, your hands, your fingers, be mindful of those this week. When it comes to your um, home and environment, the Nine of Swords sees you, it's like, I actually think on the home front, things are a lot better this week, but there's it's like you're walking on eggshells because you're not sure if at any moment it's all gonna kind of pop off again. If you're holding that in your space or in your mind or your energy, that's what you're gonna get, okay? So you, you gotta find a way to come back into more of that Capricornian alignment. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.